Good morning, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. So the data from uh, European Union and the US institutions are concordant in demonstrating uh, that patients submitted to uh, our coronary bypass and uh, are becoming uh, progressively uh, older and uh, have worse cardiac uh, status and then higher incidence of uh, systemic comorbidities. Uh, the trend will be, uh, will be even enhanced in the, in the near future, uh, as we expect. And uh, uh, some retrospecti uh, retrospective analyses uh, have shown that of palm coronary uh, surgery uh, disproportionately benefits the high-risk patients. From that reason, we decided to, uh, to confirm or exclude uh, this theory in the prospective randomized clinical trial uh, on a collection of high-risk patients uh, with the widely used uh, Euroscore uh, 6 and more uh, in the single center uh, study. Uh, during five years, we, in, in, uh, we enrolled uh, about 200 patients we, which, uh, who have been randomly divided into two groups, uh, a, uh, off pump and on, on pump, and their results were uh, compared. Uh, as a primary combined standard endpoint, we chose the same uh, like in uh, coronary study, uh, which was uh, myocardial infarction, death from any reason, combination of death from any reason, myocardial infarction, a stroke, and uh, a new renal failure uh, requiring uh, hemodialysis. Uh, we found out uh, significantly a lower uh, incidence of uh, the primary combined endpoint in the patients operated uh, off pump. It was in the first, uh, in first 30 days post-operatively. Uh, especially the incidence of uh, myocardial infarction was uh, significantly lower in that patient. Um, there were no differences in mortality. It was about 5%. Uh, 5 in both groups, uh, there were no differences and no beneficial effect uh, uh, of the off-pump uh, surgery on the stroke rate, which was surprising for us because we believe that uh, cannulating, uh, ascending, uh, cannulation of ascending aorta and cross-clamping the aorta uh, is the um, most important uh, point for uh, the developing of central, uh, local, or focal um, neurologic deficit. And finally, there were no uh, significant differences in, in uh, new renal failure and, and uh, uh, requiring hemodialysis. So uh, from our point of view, uh, we, would, we would say that uh, um, the patients operated off pump um, uh, the the off-pump surgery in high-risk patients is associated with a lower, uh, lower incidence of serious complications within the first 30 days post-operatively. And um, mm, we believe that off-pump surgery is a safer way uh, to, for uh, direct myocardial revascularization in high-risk patients. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jan. And uh, now let me uh, call on Dr. Mark Davies from Methodist Hospital, who's also one of our co-chairs of these scientific sessions, for uh, some discussion on these three interesting papers. Mark? So I think we should uh, congratulate all three authors for getting in the arena and slugging this out. I think it's important to realize that these papers probably temper the widespread enthusiasm for off-pump. Number two, most of them have showed that the benefits that people ascribe to off-pump were not realized. Why is this the case? Well, the case is that these are in the hands of surgeons who make good decisions, select the right patients, and operate at the right time. It's important when you look at the German study that they, had, they flexed between both. At least in one or two patients where the aorta was too calcified, they moved to off-pump from pump. I think you can see from the ad hoc comments made at the podium during coronary that there may be a difference between those centers in the world that did the on and off pump, and also there may be a difference in who and when they were operated on. And I think from the uh, PROG-6 trial, you can see a very important point, whereas we have seen in freedom that uh, Q-wave MI drives the difference between stent and cabbage. Here, despite the other trials, that were presented today, the chemical infarction rate was very high, and that drove their MACE rate. 
And so in the right hands, with a well-trained surgeon, with the correctly selected patient, off-pump does well. But the on-pump is absolutely not dead. Interesting uh, diversion here. The surgeons seem to be a little more pro uh, off-pump 